Okay. So. Brian is answering questions again, because this time, um, it's actually for real. If you check the last video, I guess, they go over. Hacked or something, because it says we had some issues last night regarding our account. The real Q&A thread. And so this was posted at 5.30 p.m. yesterday. So here's the real answers. What is Brian? Is it a real site? And when can we expect it to launch? Brian, while it, it while it's a code name, is actually a streaming site that was started on June twenty second, two thousand twenty. Right now, it's still in slow stages of build, hoping by the by end of this year, you will see Brian as a new service. Then this question came in, which says, I was led to Brian on the speculation of Dr. Distret being involved. We cannot confirm or deny this status of Dr. Distret at this time. He's more than welcome to be part of the Brime service, but we are not in any negotiations at this time. Then this question came in and says, who are you? The answer, I am a gamer, streamer, a nice guy. That honestly got tossed into a bowl of speculation. What exactly are you going to do to enforce a little more stance in your TOS? We will have a strict policy regarding the nature of the TOS that we will apply, holding every streamer to the same standards. Then this question came in. Do you believe in being transparent when working with the community on lunch and before lunch. Yes, I believe that every company should be a transparent company as the community that it builds around it is the most important. What exactly is the site, and when will the services be shared? It's a streaming platform from gamers by gamers. I will add I that I want you all to help build it. Two, the services the services are still trying to be outlined as we build. Then this question came in. Will Streamlabs and others work for to stream? The answer, yes, of course. Can I be a beta tester? Good question. In the future, as we progress, I would love to see people actually beta testing the platform. And that... is practically it for now. Uh, 
So this person tweeted here, what's with the disrespect classes on your website? And then this person says that website is hosted in, in Australia. It's a troll site. Um, okay. If that appears to be the case, then why did show code rhyme on it? Why did it show code co co name Brime on it, on the site, and code name Brime on the Twitter account? And obviously, I said also the. Their website or name will probably not be Brime as they said it's a code name. Well, it's still exciting to see where it eventually will happen. In pos in like possibly the end of the year, possibly. But still, you know. Kind of exciting to see that if Brian is just a, just a code name, then you know it'll probably be changed to something else. But until we know for sure, we might as well just wait for for two thousand twenty one to come. And hopefully the coronavirus doesn't uh, messed up the the process of the new streaming service, which might be Prime coming soon. So we'll just wait. I still think, however, however, that WatchRhyme.com has like some actual clues to to it. So, but we'll see. And if any more questions come in, I may have to make another video of it. Maybe. But for now, I think that might be the last the last video that I might talk about Brian, just for now. Unless there are more speculations from people who are making conspiracy theories, then I'll probably make another video to de debunk the situation on that uh, Brian will address again if that ever appears to be the case. But for now, yeah, last video for at least this month about Brian. And yeah.